Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith. Hello to you all and welcome to today's game. And today it's Real Madrid versus Valencia. A chance to watch Real Madrid. They are in a Champions Cup place, so there's such big motivation for these players out there. The last thing they want to do now is get nervous and let their position slip. No one can match Real Madrid for home form in the league this season. Well, after 12 wins in 17 games, that is title-winning stuff. This is the Real Madrid lineup. Keylor Navas in goal. Sergio Ramos plays alongside Nacho in the heart of defence. Cristiano Ronaldo plays with Lucas Vasquez in the wide positions. Karim Benzema is the lone striker today. Mangala in the heart of defence. And up front is Simone Zaza. Alan, I was here for the 82 World Cup final. You were still probably a schoolboy then, watching it on the television, but it was a, a special setting for, obviously, the fixture in world football. Yeah, it's one of those places. Is there a finer sight than the Bernabeu packed to the rafters and with those Galacticos, the white shirts race in the surface knocking in the goals and the referee for this important fixture today Alvaro Arias Romero Carvajal Rodriguez it's Isco challenges for the ball it's looking good this move stopped emphatically and just as well the approach play looked very encouraging. Not a good challenge by the defender. Carvajal. And now he's looking for some support. It's Isco. And Ronaldo. looking to widen the play really widen the build-up but the ball's just run straight out over the touchline good anticipation by the opposing Ronaldo Ronaldo a goal for Ronaldo they have scored a really good goal coming in from the right that was so inviting wonderful delivery great ball great goal Full marks for the way he lost his marker there. Good movement in the box. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Toya. And he gives it back to him. Now Nacho. Lucas Vasquez. Rodriguez. Carvajal. Trying to find an opening. Not panicking. Well, this is how this team can play. Well, the referee had a good look at the player who was down and decided... ...it was serious enough to stop the game. Well, it's going to be that change. It always looked likely. And the injured player departs. And the substitute will be... Uh, Bringing fresh legs and a fresh approach to the match.
Perez. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. He's got a quick mind, this lad. It's good vision to be able to switch the play there. Montoya. Eliakim Mangala. Nani out near the touchline, and they can find him. Lost his man. He's had to tackle there to concede the corner. Let's take another look, Alan, at Cristiano Ronaldo's goal. The corner goes straight to the opposition. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Good challenge here. Well, the goalkeeper will hope that it stays like that throughout. The keeper's given the ball away. The shot's up. And it is a goal kick. with Marco Asensio. Good forward play from them. Defender to it first. It goes out wide again. Oh, well, it wasn't such a good cross after all. Cisco and Ronaldo Danny Parejo could be dangerous they cope with it well defensively another turnover in play here with that interception and it's Real Madrid who are influencing the match on the scoreline, but not perhaps on the pitch as much as you might expect. I think the opposition have done a good job on them to this point, and they're going to keep us interested, certainly in the second half, if it stays this way. Well, that's proper defending. They can't score from there, it's out of play. Marco Asensio. And that's a foul, no question about it, by Garay. Garay is going to get the yellow card here. You can see what he was trying to do, Alan, with that slide challenge, but it's definitely a foul. Well, it was badly timed, he didn't get the ball, and he knows he's committed a foul there. to it first. Carvajal. It's with Marco Asensio. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. Danny Parejo. He went in well. Oriana. That's half time at 1 0. Real Madrid 
as usual, in form, at home, and they lead at half-time. Yeah, they've just got that confidence about them, and you'd expect them to see this one out in the second half. Here in the Bernabeu, we're underway in the second half. It's Isco. Marcelo. Here's Isco. James Rodriguez. And he could get away here. Benzema! It's in! Fine moment for them. They've got a firmer grip on the game now. Two ahead. It's almost as if they drew them onto them so that there was space to break into. And how well they used that space. And that score, he's just got too much pace for those defenders, you can see. Starting at 2 0. Here's Mangala. Danny Parejo. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. Attacking now. And comes the challenge. Well, this is how this team can play sustained attacking football, but when they lose it, as they've done now, it's just a risk that they might get caught out. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. There's going to be a throw-in after that tackle. Marco Asensio. It's Isco. Marcelo. Well, we're two thirds of the way through the 90 minutes, half an hour to go. Tony Cross. Got on the ball in midfield, well read by the player in that part of the pitch. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. And in goes the cross. He worked hard to get the cross in, but it didn't reach any of his teammates arriving in the middle. Played back. And that's good support as they build this attack. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. It was nicely worked until that point when it broke down. And now they've got to try and regain possession. On to Ronaldo. Here's Isco. Cristiano Ronaldo. Challenges for the ball. Real Madrid looking good with this attack. It's Isco. Here's Isco, looking for an opening with some good control builder. Rodriguez, and now the shot! A big moment for Karim Benzema on the goal trail again. He took it with great aplomb, I'm sure getting the first goal gave him the confidence to grab the second chance here. You can see a slightly different viewpoint on it.
Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. No time to panic, there's still time to change this game. Well, it's not going to be a complicated approach now. Long balls into the box from any angle. It's all about trying to win that first header. Well, they're cheering them across the finishing line, aren't they? Job almost done by the players. Yeah, almost done. They can't afford to relax, but these fans are, are pretty confident. The break is definitely on. Left the defenders trailing now, here's a chance. The shot's on! They're going to take the corner. Manager has uh, had other players warming up for some time. He's going to take the central midfield player off, uh, one of his better players today. Yeah, well, I think the manager's looking ahead to the next few matches when this midfielder will be central to their success. There goes the cross. Casimiro! What a fine save. Well, we're coming to the end of a very good game of football in which both teams have played a full part. But unless the opposition can really set up a dramatic finale here, the spoils are going to go to Real Madrid. And here come Real Madrid. Shot on! Wonderful save. Had to really reach out for that. It's Cristiano Ronaldo to take the corner. And shoots! And they've got him to score here. Yes, it's a goal from the substitute. And he's quickly made his mark on proceedings here. It was a move to make your mouth water. Great goal. Oh, really good corner that. Flighted in and just begging to be attacked. Martin Murphy, he might have thought that was going to hit the bar, but no, he's just crept under. Unstoppable. Turning out to be a, a comfortable game, this 4-0. And we're going to see a switch from Valencia. They're going to make a change for the bench. Here's Munir. Perez. Into the attacking third. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Here's Munir. It's looking good, this move. the final whistle here Real Madrid have victory today as a match it was rather one-sided wasn't it because of the 
capacity of one team to dominate the football. Well, it was a football lesson, it was pretty humiliating for, for the inferior team, they just didn't get into it. It was a great effort by Real Madrid again, as they have put in every time they've played at home this season. That record rocks on. Yes, another exceptional performance, and we've seen quite a few of those on this ground this season.